Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Darkness, um, a game of ancient mysticism, and it is live on Kickstarter now, developed by Taylor Hayward. And I have to say, Darkness is a really well-designed game. It has pretty simple mechanics, but they layer on each other well, and surprised me in the compelling decisions. I mean, the look and the feel of the, the game is pretty simple. It seems a little stark on the box, but all of the player cards are actually quite nice. I think the only thing I sort of object to the game in that regard is I feel like it doesn't need to be so small, like he's using Euro-sized decks and I guess it's compact, but I feel like this game could have had normal-sized cards, but I know there are certain people that like that form factor. The game's pretty simple. Each player has the same hand, three of each color of these cards, and what you're going to be doing is revealing them uh, in turn. So everyone is gonna pick three face down and then flip and show, then you're gonna flip two, and then you're gonna flip one. And basically it's the composition of those cards or the sets of those cards that let you win these, um, well, the relics and the artifacts. Artifacts have two color symbols. The top one is if you have the majority, if I had the majority of orange, I'd get this, and if there was a tie, it would then go to green. So basically, you're looking for majority of colors while watching what everyone else is doing. Maybe you don't need three blues to have the most blues. Maybe two will work, and that's what you're sort of bidding against. While you're doing it, you can do set collection for these each round, which just mean I've shown, you know, uh, five of my six cards are the five of the six cards on top of them, and these can be used for points. Uh, this mask lets you keep uh, cards face down at the start of your turn once, and this the ring lets you swap one. So the relics uh, let you do extra little bits, but really it's just nice tight math around the distribution of symbols, what's happening, and picking up the relics. There are darkness cards that come out. These effectively need to be cleared, and um, if you do, that's great, and they're tiebreakers. If you don't, they end up being... Um, making everyone lose their relics. So it's a nice little attic mechanic. It's pretty simple, but it works. Um, again, this is a tight, simple game, a small form factor that is sort of compelling decisions uh, within the play. So this is darkness. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.